When you think of essential, what do you really think of? I mean, what's essential in your life? Your freedom? Transportation? Religion? Food? Water? Friends and family? Safety? Your job? Or is it as simple as the air we breathe? Well, I can guarantee you it wasn't this. This is the essential phone. Basically, a phone stripped down from gimmicks or bloat to give you the most pure experience on Android you can get. ago I did a video on my favorite phones of 2017. If you missed it, it's okay. You can find it at a card right at the top of this video. Make sure you watch that, then come back here. It'll make more sense. In that video, I stated that the Essential phone was the best built phone I had ever used. I wanted to elaborate a little bit more on that phone because it's more than just a looker. So I wanted to do a full dedicated video on my thoughts and opinions of the Essential phone. Essential is a startup company that was founded by Andy Rubin. If you don't know who Andy Rubin is, he is the co-founder and CEO of Danger Incorporated and Android Incorporated, basically one of the original creators of the platform that has exploded across the globe. The Essential phone is actually geared towards developers, but it also attempts to sway the general public with its physique and clean interface. Unfortunately for Essential, it didn't work as planned. This resulted in multiple price cuts due to several issues ranging from camera-related problems to growing pains within the software. However, Essential was extremely fast at pushing out several updates to fix these bugs. Now we're looking at a more finished product that also has a reduced price. The Essential phone has a gorgeous physique with its titanium size, ceramic back, and edge-to-edge -edge bezel-less display. It checks all the right boxes in terms of design. In fact, in the world of notches, I would go as far as saying the Essential phone has the least intrusive notch when it comes to how your content looks on the display. The buttons are nice and tactile and the camera does not protrude, letting the Essential phone lay completely flat without rocking on a surface. However, the fingerprint scanner I find to lack tactility, which is due to the smoothness and depthless cutout where the sensor rests. In short, it can be a little bit tricky knowing if you're actually hitting the fingerprint sensor. But that's about it though. I mean, I don't really have any complaints when it comes to the design or the feel of this phone. It looks every bit as good as it feels, which is fantastic. Speaking of good looks, if you guys are in the market for one of the new essential phones, make sure you check out their new colors. They're absolutely gorgeous. I do recommend waiting a little bit just to see what they're gonna do for the rest of the year. But if you can't wait and you gotta have this phone, check out the new colors, they're awesome. The only durability issue I have come across is the Gorilla Glass display, which scratches very easy. This isn't Essential's fault since Gorilla Glass 5 has been put out on all the new flagships and every one of them has the same issue with the softness of this glass. The Essential phone also has the best modular system on any phone currently out, at least in my humble opinion. It's incredibly easy to connect the 360 camera and I love how you can hear the fan kick on whenever you first connect it. Unfortunately, this is the only mod currently available, which is the biggest downside of the entire system right now. The software on the Essential phone was meant to be one of its biggest strengths, which I totally agree because it's a raw and pure version of Android, giving you the best possible experience. In fact, you're gonna be blown away by how many apps are pre-installed on the Unlock model if you get this phone. It's really gonna surprise you. This is for better or for worse. I mean, pretty much it comes down to your personal preference. Do you like the raw, pure Android experience or do you like some of the third-party applications that Samsung or LG puts on their phones? Whatever fits your needs and suits you best, you go for. What I can say is the software optimization combined with that pure, raw Android experience with the Snapdragon 835, the four gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of storage makes this phone a powerhouse. This is not to say the experience has always been good because it hasn't. And when the Essential phone first launched, it had a ton of problems. But I expect this out of any startup to iron out any software bugs or any hardware issues that they come across. So pretty much the Essential phone is like a beta product. And a lot of people know that going into the purchase. Plus they were very fast at pushing out update after update to squash any software bugs that were happening. And I do commend them for that. Now one area I don't commend them on and they failed to deliver is the speed of the OS updates. This is still running on Oreo beta, which is not really what they promised 
at the initial launch. They said that we would be given updates much faster because of the raw Android experience when in fact we have it. Now, this might be because the developers and the software engineers have a lot to iron out, so their attention has been elsewhere versus trying to optimize you know, Android O for this phone. I do see that, but I don't know. In any case, they failed to deliver. The single down firing speaker on the Essential phone is decent, but the lack of a stereo front facing design impacts the listening experience a lot. More so, the missing headphone jack may bother some, but at this day and age, I would think that you should be used to it by now. Essential was nice enough to include a USB-C adapter in the box, just don't lose it. One thing I do love is the earpiece on the Essential phone. It's actually quite beautiful how it blends in with the aesthetic of the phone, plus the hidden LED behind it creates a very futuristic look. The Essential Phone can handle gaming and any other power intensive task, so you shouldn't have to worry about not having enough horsepower for your day to day rituals. The battery on the Essential Phone is a little over 3000 million hours and I would say it's decent. It can last me about a full day usually. Unfortunately since it's an IPS display you don't get any of the OLED battery saving secrets. Speaking of the IPS display, it's actually quite nice. It's very glossy and outdoor visibility under direct sunlight is pretty tough, but in terms of more typical environments and color accuracy, it's on point. Viewing angles are also quite nice with no major color shifting present. I guess that just leaves us with the camera, something that Essential has been trying to fix and iron out since launch. And I'm sure some of you guys wanna know, has it been fixed? And my answer is sorta. Does it take better photos than when first launched? Yes, but it's not on the level that many of these other devices are on, such as the OnePlus 5T. The stills are completely usable, especially for social media, but this still may put off many people. The portrait mode does not work as good as it could, which you can see on my portrait mode shootout playlist at the top. 4K video is decent, but the lack of stabilization really hurts. If you guys want to see a 360 camera sample video, let me know by smashing that like button. I don't mind doing a 360 live stream or even a dedicated video. Just let me know down in the comment section what you guys want. However, despite the negatives or just the okay remarks on a stock camera app processing, a simple Google search will show you how you can get the Google Pixel 2's camera APK with portrait mode on the Essential phone. I'll leave a link down below for you. The results are amazing compared to the stock camera app. So what do I think? I think the Essential phone is the best $450 phone you can get. With the drop in price, I do think that this phone is worth it. If you're in the market for one and you just had your eye on it, now is a great time to pick it up. I do think that the OnePlus 5T rivals this phone and actually beats this phone in many ways. So if you're looking at spending more than 500 bucks, you might wanna go with the OnePlus 5T. However, $450 and less, this is a great phone. I definitely recommend it. I love it. It's, I, I can't get rid of this phone. I don't know why. It's, it's like attached to me. It's like a part of me. I don't, I don't get it. But uh, yeah, that's, that's been my review of the Essential phone. I hope you liked it. Make sure you subscribe for more reviews like this and make sure you turn on those notifications so you can be alerted when that content drops. If you have any questions, leave them down below in a comment or better yet, hit me up on social as I do respond quicker there. And of course, I'll talk to you in the next one.